Welcome everyone to Drawing Journal number 33. All right, well, I hope everybody had a great weekend. I had an interesting one, which I'll get into shortly. However, um, I have a lot of new subscribers to my channel. After I posted my tutorial on how to five ways to improve your artwork, and uh, so if you are new to my channel, thanks for subscribing and checking it out. Um, this video series is dedicated to answering your questions about anything art related or about my life, I guess, if you care to know. Um, basically what I do is I just pick things to draw in this small sketchbook to help kind of enhance some of my skills. I try to focus on particular things, maybe discuss it a little bit, um, give general tips or whatnot. And of course, you can always ask questions in the comments and I will get to them in the following week. I make these weekly, every, every Tuesday. Um, so anyways, uh, I am still working on this picture here from last week and as you can see, it's coming along pretty nicely. I'm, I've been excited to get to start working on it again because I've been uh, just enjoying it so much. Um, I really like the way that it's coming together. And yes, so I'm going to continue working on this and I will just go from there, I guess. Um, if you did not catch my tutorial, which I can't imagine that anybody missed it, um, it's doing really well. Uh, five ways to uh, improve your artwork, so I definitely recommend checking it out if you haven't seen it yet. Um, had a lot of positive reaction from it, which uh, is nice. It definitely inspires me to make more tutorials in the future, and I do have, I do have some plans for future tutorials, however, um, I don't have a schedule as to when I'm going to get to them, but they will certainly be coming in the next uh, few months for sure. Uh, I definitely intend to get to them. So, um, I will be, a couple ideas that I have, I will be doing a tutorial on perspective and on shading. So you can hold that, hold me to that uh, promise there. I've been trying to get to such tutorials for months now. I just, uh, for me, I, I like to have a really clear plan when I uh, do a tutorial. I like to have everything set up so that it's easy to follow and everything that I say uh, is easy to understand. And so sometimes I just write it out and kind of go from there and figure out, figure out the best way to approach the subject and make it understandable for everybody. And it seemed to work well with my recent tutorial. But um, yeah, so this week is final weeks with school. So of course I have been kind of stressing about that, but not too bad. I did just um, I did just finish a final in uh, before I started uh, drawing or coloring whatever you want to call this at this point. But um, yeah, so I just got back from taking a final. I have two more left and I'm finally done. And then of course, once I finish and I'm on break, I am going to do, uh, I'm going to be full steam ahead on my illustration, uh, illustrating children's book uh, project, which I still haven't, I still haven't really thought of an idea as far as how to document the process. Um, however, I think I might start a video this week. Um, and, and yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I'll just, uh, hit record and briefly talk about the, the process that I've went through up to this point and then kind of do kind of add like a weekly, uh, another weekly video, um, for the next few weeks while I finish that project. But I do have 
uh, about three illustrations complete for that project. And I have the fourth one that I'm going to work on as soon as I'm uh, finished recording this video. But, um, oh, but I almost forgot. I need to go grab something. So something that also came this week was the finished collaboration piece with Colored Pencil Magazine. Um, so if you look back through some of my weekly drawings, uh, weekly drawing time lapse, you'll see me draw one of these squares. Actually, you'll see me draw this one. So this middle square is it's my piece, and then each of these other nine. Um, let me show you the smaller one. So yes, uh, so each of these nine squares was drawn by a different artists. Um, you can see their names here. See my name. Um, but yes, it's a very cool collaboration project that Color Pencil Magazine hosts, and uh, this is the second one that they've done. I did the first one, which was the carnation piece. You can also see that in the weekly drawing. You see me draw that one. But yes, I did this one. Um, I must say, this this project came together really nicely, uh, considering how precise each artist really needed to be with their lines and where they ended them when drawing their piece, um, they, they fit together quite nicely. There's, there's just a couple, a uh, couple little glitches here, but, um, I would say, uh, the way mine and who is this Terry Melway's piece fits together. Our piece just is it, ours two together just fit together just flawlessly. It's, um, it's really amazing the way that this came together as a fun project. Um, and it was really weird to just focus on the one square and uh, not really know how it was all going to go together. Um, I kind of liked what um, this is Anne's piece. I like what she did with the Queen of Diamonds here. She kind of made it her own thing, added scissors and added this cutout effect of the card. It was kind of uh, unique, but it was a fun project. And you can actually order these posters if you're interested. Uh, I'll have the link in the description, and you can order your own poster and have this piece um, if you like it that much. But anyways, yes, I just wanted to share that with everybody because I just got that in the mail. And I uh, thought it was cool. So um, yeah, it was a fun project. I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to the next project. I made a couple, made a couple recommendations for... Um, possible subject of the next collaboration. And uh, of course, as soon as I find out when it is, uh, because it won't be till next year, uh, I will probably put it on Facebook uh, and Twitter and stuff like that. Uh, so if you're interested in joining the collaboration project, um, yeah, definitely, definitely look forward to that. Cause it's, it's fun. It's fun to, to do the single piece and then have everybody's work come together at the end. It's, it's a cool experience and it's really fun to be a part of. But, uh, getting back to, getting back to my weekend. So I had, I had a fairly interesting weekend, certainly, um, one, one event yesterday, Sunday, that was a bit, uh, a bit uncommon for my daily routine. But, uh, so, like I mentioned, I have finals this week, so uh, I was studying, and uh, sometimes I just need to get out of my room a little bit, get into a different space to kind of focus, and so uh, I thought, mm, I'll go to the library, you know, it should, should be pretty calm and quiet there, and uh, help me focus a little bit more on my work. So I took my probability notes um, to to go over in the library, and uh, took my took my headphones um, just to drown out any possible noise. And so I get to the library and I I go up to the top floor uh, to go into this just quiet room. There's like ten seats. Uh, pretty small room considering the size of the library at UW 
it's a ginormous library, so this room is pretty abnormal in the sense that it's small and not a lot of people go in it. So I go in there and I find this little desk, uh, and it has like the divider things so that you don't really see anything around you. And I'm sitting there, I'm writing notes for, I don't know, maybe, maybe a half hour, 45 minutes or something like that. And uh, I have, I have noise canceling headphones on at this point. Um, so I literally cannot hear anything at all. And I just happened to, you know, stop, pause for a moment and look up. And I see this uh, exchange student uh, walking over to the desk that's, I don't know, a couple meters, a couple meters in front of me. And uh, there's this much older guy. I would, he's got to be over 60 at least, sitting at the desk at the computer that was there. And it was a public computer, you know, a library computer. And uh, it was just, when I, when I saw him walk over, I just picked up on the body language. And it was, it was not um, like a friendly body language. And uh, so I, they, they started talking and I could, I could tell that there was like tension between them. And so it intrigued me because I was like, I wonder what's going on. And so um, not but a moment later, uh, I see the exchange student reaching at the corner of the computer. And I see this really old, this old guy, like, um, like swat at his hand, like really, really aggressively. Like it wasn't like a, you know, move your hand kind of thing. It was like, I'm trying to break your wrist kind of swat. And, uh, so it definitely got my attention at that point. And I was still just listening to music. So I wasn't hearing anything that they were saying, but from what I, from what I could see is I, or what I assumed from the situation was that, um, the exchange student had left his books there and went to the bathroom or something like that um, and was signed into the computer prior to this old guy getting there. And so once, once he hit this kid, um, I got up and walked over to him and uh, told him, I was like, I was like, sir, you, you can't be, you can't be assaulting people in the library. Like <laughs> it was ridiculous. I had, I uh, just couldn't believe the situation, and um, I was I was just partially annoyed because I I came to the library to get away from any distraction uh, to study, and uh, <clears throat> what felt like moments later, this old guy's trying to fight this exchange student. Um, so I step in between them before they start swinging because as soon as I I stood up. And, um, and as soon as I took my headphones off, I heard the, the old guy, like he, I saw him draw up his fist, like he was going to hit him, but he, I heard him threaten him saying he was going to like bash his head in or punch his face in or something along those lines. <clears throat> and, um, so I walked over and I, I told the guy, I was like, look, you, you can't be, you can't be assaulting people in the library. Like what the heck is the matter with you? And, uh, at this point, everybody in the room, all 20 of them or whatever was over there, uh, staring at us. And I told the guy, I was like, look, um, you, you have two choices. Like you can just get up and leave, give this guy his computer back, or I'm going to get security. Like, and he was all flustered and upset because, uh, he felt like he was, in the right because he would, the exchange student was going to shut off his computer. And he, that's what he, he starts making excuses like, Oh, well he was about to shut off the computer. And I was like, I don't, I don't care. I was like, if I walked around the library trying to shut people's computer off and doesn't give them the right to assault me, I mean, granted, I would feel like I would deserve to be assaulted if people are working, I'm walking around shutting their computers off. I'd want to assault somebody that did that. Of course, I wouldn't. I wouldn't do that because um, it doesn't. <laughs> shutting off computers doesn't give you, you know, the right to assault somebody. That's that's the bottom line. 
<clears throat> and that's what I told the guy. I was like, I don't care that he was trying to shut your computer off. Like, that doesn't give you the right to just hit him and then make threats uh, of, like, smashing his face in or whatever. <clears throat> and, of course, he was uh, upset about that. And uh, and I could just, I could see the embarrassment on his face. I mean, this he had to be close to 70 years old. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, he was definitely, he was definitely like mid sixties, minimum, and um, and here he is. He's fighting some like twenty one year old foreign exchange student, and uh, I was like, I was like, people never grow up. That's 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 it. People never grow up. They just pretend to be grown up when they reach a certain age. But my goodness, it was just ridiculous. Uh, eventually the guy, the guy stood up, like he didn't, he wasn't going to do nothing. And he certainly didn't want me to get security. Um, and of course he kept trying to make excuses like, Oh, he's going to shut my computer off. And I was like, dude, I don't care. Like try to shut your computer off or not. You know, you don't hit somebody. And, uh, yeah, so he stood up and left and by the time he was walking out i was already at my desk with my headphones back on so that was the that was that ordeal it was it was interesting but it was also annoying because the entire purpose of me going to the library was to get away from distractions <clears throat> and of course it completely ruined uh like my good mood like i have to be in a special mood to be able to sit there and study i'm not a studier i'm terrible at studying and yeah so i i ended up leaving like 20 minutes later to find another place to study because it's just my root my mood was ruined i needed to leave that place it was ridiculous still i still can't get over it which is why i'm telling you about it now but yeah Definitely an interesting story. Uh, <clears throat> and yeah, I I got some things done on this drawing, I guess. Um, just trying to get the clothing part done and then I'll work on the skin tones separately, but uh, just uh, doing layers after layers slowly building up the values um i really like to do that in these um in these drawings and uh yes uh, so i'm gonna go ahead and cut this video here and i will see everybody next week this thursday i will have a new subscriber portrait so definitely be on the lookout for that and if you're new to my channel, thank you again for checking it out. Um, and if this is your first video, first time seeing my work, then uh, hopefully you enjoyed it and you subscribe. Check out more of my videos. Um, don't forget you can support me on Patreon if you want to. Um, you can check out my clothing store, uh, buy stickers or whatever, uh, hoodies. Uh, all the links will be in the description. And of course, if you have any questions that you'd like me to answer for next week's video, be sure to leave them in the comments, and I will see you all next week. Take care. Peace.